In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we'd like to show you how to make a segment of text pop on the screen. By pop, I mean it will expand for a number of frames or number of seconds to draw attention to itself. We do not have an effect that we can apply to a text that will do exactly that, but we can accomplish that by doing some keyframing. And I'd like to show you how to do that in this exercise. We have on the screen on track number one a video of this canyon, an aerial shot. Then on track two I have a title called Canyon Tours. We're going to promote touring our canyon. So when I play this we have a pretty good start to our project. What I'd like to do is move into the project and I'll take the playhead and drag it to the left and we have our time code right above our timeline and I'll move in about 1 second and 15 frames and then we will add another title and make it pop. So to do that I click on the text menu at the very top of my screen, choose new text and choose default text. We're going to change a couple of things about it. First of all I'm going to click on the style tab at the top and just choose the top one here and then I'll go back to the text option and we're going to enlarge the text by dragging across the size number and I'm going to change the color. Let's change the color to something in the brown tones maybe a brownish orange. I like that one and we can also change the stroke which is the outline. I'll click on the stroke box and we'll drag to the right of the weight and make it just a little bit thicker. There we go and I'll click on OK. I want to change one other feature about it. I think I'm going to change the font face again. I want something a little bolder. Let's do this one here. That will be really good. And so now we have our text. Let's change what the text says. We're going to change the date. We'll call it July 7 to 13. July 7 to 13. And now we want this to pop. So we have our text on the screen and we need to modify it because if we just play it as it is it will simply appear on the screen and not be all that special. Let's make it longer. And now we're going to make some changes in the early part of the text when it comes on the screen with our narration. So with that highlighted we are going to click on our effects tool on the right side and from applied effects we're going to click on motion. Now one of the things inside of motion is scale. I can widen this a little bit so I can see the entire word and we're going to click on the little stopwatch to the left of scale and it will set a keyframe at the very beginning of where our title starts and the scale you know it's a hundred percent. So let's move in a little bit and we can either watch the time code down here or we can watch the numbers up here and we'll move in not too far and then we're going to click another diamond to set another keyframe and this one we're going to set to more than a hundred percent. I can use the slider or I can type in a number. I'll use the slider a bit, see what we get to. There's about a 131, 129. Okay, let me use that. And then we're going to move a little bit to the right. Again, I can scale this up if I want to, how far apart my keyframes are. And we don't want it to be popping too long, but we'll go about this length here. We'll try that and set another keyframe. It has the same value and then we want it to go back to normal size shortly thereafter and so we'll set another keyframe but now we're going to change this I simply find it easier to type I'll type in 100 and press the enter key okay so my text uh, will enlarge and then pop back to normal to draw attention to itself in this segment so if I just play the segment There it's larger and there it's smaller. Let's, let's close this window and render it and show you the difference. Pops up, enlarges for attention and then it shrinks back. Now for me this is too slow so the way to rectify that is you highlight the title again, 
go back to your effects, click on the Motion tab. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit. And all I need to do to speed up this, it's a little bit too big here, there we go, is the segment between this keyframe and this keyframe are too long. I'm just going to move them closer together, which means I want to drop back to normal faster. Let's play our clip. And so you see this slight emphasis as the text enlarges and then returns to its normal size. It's a very simple technique done with two or three keyframes added to your title track.